Hi guys, today we are unboxing a La Chusa self-watering pot. I did a series on my website about my favourite self-watering pots and sad news, my favourite self-watering pot, I can't get hold of. I bought it on AliExpress for some money, I want to say like a tenner, and you can't get them anymore. You can get, well, I think you can get them, but you, if you search it by the brand name, it doesn't show up. So you just have to... Um, Put in self-watering pot and then just keep scrolling and scrolling and looking down the sidebar to see if the brand sh shows up. It's extremely frustrating. Um, so I did a review of Lachusa. I like Lachusa pots, like they're really good, but they're not. I wouldn't um, rush out and buy loads. I would just see if you like them because they're not perfect. They are really good quality and. I do like them but I'm just going to unbox it and you can make your own minds up. Now I have one of the La Chusa, no I've got two, but I've got one of the like this one, uh, my other one's bigger. Um, I have got like a rectangular one which fits three pots in it and I really like that one because um, you put your own nursery pots in that one whereas the normal La Chusa pots don't have like an inner pot so they're terrible for Lekka because you can't flush them properly. Uh, but what I was going to say was I'm not an expert at assembling them. I'm going to do it on camera so then you can judge how easy or hard it is. I'm one of those people that's fairly bright but also has very little common sense and I'm a really slow learner. So you can watch me do it and see if you think it would be easy for you. <laughs> I just got one of the little ones because I didn't need a big one. A knife from my previous snake plant propagation video. Yes, there is soil everywhere. Child next door is crying. I saw my parents this morning and they asked me if I'd heard the strange noise at 2am this morning. And I said, no, I hadn't. And they were pretty sure it was like the end of the world, aliens, something. Um, but it was in fact traffic calming measures. It was somebody dragging cones up the road, which now I think about it, that probably is, well, that's what they said first. They thought it was somebody dragging a body <laughs> before they were like, but like above the house. I don't know why it sounded like it was above the house because it wasn't, but that's what it was. It was traffic cones. Just as a useless aside. So, here we have it. I do like that the gubbins that goes within the pot comes in the pot in a little box. A lot of the other ones don't and it all just sort of falls out and you don't really know what you're doing. I also hate the phrase self-watering pot because it makes it sound like the pot's doing a lot more than it is. They do not water themselves. A self-watering pot would take itself to the sink. Ooh. Ooh. Now, as I said, they don't have an inner pot, so you can't flush them, but this looks like it might be a flushing hole. My other one didn't have that. Is that what this is? I do not know. Right, so. Interesting that they use a picture of a snake plant. That is the last plant I would put in a self-watering pot. Like, they, they can live in them perfectly fine. But not as perfectly fine as others. Like, that's a more difficult, it's one that's more likely to um, not like self-watering, just because they like to dry out so much. So one of the reasons I like self-watering pots is if you are a busy person or just the sort of person that likes to assign, you know, plant care, 10 o'clock Saturday morning, that kind of person, with self-watering pots, you can just go around and top up all the plants, regardless of whether they need it or not, without worrying about overwatering them. You can just keep the reservoir full. For some plants, I mean, some do like to dry out, but in general, a lot of them are, are fine if you just keep the reservoir topped up. So yeah, if you're that sort of person that likes that organised um, part of, you like to add 
you know have everything on a schedule self-watering pots are good for that or if you travel a lot um but if you have a lot of plant like snake plant like i wouldn't put a snake plant in a self-watering pot it just seems like a waste of money because you've got to wait for the reservoir to dry out anyway if i traveled for months of the year and you know if and you know you want a load of plants get a load of snake plants but they're all in self-watering pots and they'll probably be fine for months on end but i just wouldn't do it otherwise right so what's in pond Pon is like tiny gritty lecker, but now I didn't know this. Uh, I was sort of, I thought Pon was just like a bit of a more expensive lecker, which it is, but it has fertilizer built in. Like it, it's coated with fertilizer. That makes it much more exciting to me. Anything that can put down on my uh, workload. And then we have this. Ooh. This is the tube. This is the tube for the water gauge and it comes with the little um, floaty stick thing. And then we have a bag with the rest of it in. So, I'm going to follow the instructions even though I could probably do it on my own in five years. Because then you can judge how easy you think it would be for you. Yeah, see, they have they have this here as a... Yeah, it's got a drainage plug in it. How exciting. They've got it as like a dry phase. So, yeah, basically you water it and then you leave it to dry out. To me, that defeats the point of the self-watering pot. To me, for some people, it, that's, you know, they like that, but... Oh, that's like doing Lego. I can't even work out this. Right. I don't even know what plant I'm going to put in this yet. I'm probably not going to, I'm just going to assemble it and then we'll see it decide. Right, so first thing we need is the tube. I'm going to remove... Right. They need to make this clearer. There's a little sign on here with a cross through it. But they don't actually say what that means. I mean, if you know what it means, you know. But the first time I was like, what? But basically... Here, so this refers to this, and there's a piece of polystyrene in it. Now, as a child of the 90s, anything with polystyrene in it, this was just packaging. You throw it away. No. This is what makes it work, the polystyrene, so don't throw it away. That's what this sign means. See, it says yes on that side, and then no, and an arrow. And yeah, if you know that it means don't take the polystyrene out. I get how they've come up with that but I, I think I don't know I'd have I'd have written it on don't take the polystyrene now because presumably they've written yes or no, yes and no so I'm assuming they've got different you know in different countries they've got different packaging so why is it just is it just me am I just stupid you say yes if I am just an idiot here but Anyway, right, what do we need? We need the bottom of the tube. Right, first I need to take this off. Interesting that they've got the... So this is the, the plug at the bottom that I referred to. They're saying to take the plug out if it's outside and put the plug in if it's inside, which I guess makes sense, but I wouldn't have one of these outside. I'm assuming you need a screwdriver for it. With a knife, get it out. Just want to see how tight it is. Quite tight. Can't use a nail file. Can't use your fingers. I'm guessing you'd need to use like a like a um, a table knife or something. I didn't intend to do a video showing how. Um, terrible I am assembling things but here we are right so where's the bottom of the tube I don't seem to have one I've got one but it's really short and the one on the diagram is quite long so we put that on that then we put our little red stick in there no <laughs> no we don't we put our little polystyrene thing on the red stick. 
so I'm terrible at this. That all goes in there. And then this little thing goes on the top, ensuring red stick pokes through. Red stick doesn't want to poke through. Come on, red stick. Is this meant to be this hard? Doesn't want to like sit on it. Right, there we go. Um, and then, oh, oh, I see. I did it wrong. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you do it wrong. You're supposed to attach that to that first and then put the whole thing on. I didn't do that. And that's the watering gauge. So it says minimum, maximum. Basically what happens is you put that in there, fill the bottom with water and this will float up. And because it's got the polystyrene in it, that's what makes it float. So don't take the polystyrene out because it won't work. These are more... Sturdy from La Chusa. But they are really, like, I wouldn't say they're actually that sturdy. I don't know what I'm... As somebody that's quite sort of rough with um, everything, <laughs> I just think they could be a little bit sturdier. Uh, I suppose they need to have a certain amount of wiggle room so they can move, but everything just seems a little bit um, like it would snap all the time. I don't know if it's just me that feels that way. So, right, I've done that. Now what do we do? Right, now we... That was all one step! Yeah, it was, but it was... The, this is the hard bit over. Now, this is the bottom plate. Now, so, in the my favourite self-watering pot, they didn't have a plate like this. They just had a hole in a pot that you could put in which I much prefer because you can take it out and water it properly, like flush it, flush lacquer through. With soil, it doesn't really matter. But with lacquer, I like to be able to take it out and really flush it through. I suppose with this, you could. But this hole with a plug in it is raised off. It's not flush to the bottom, which is my issue with that part over there. Is a the shoe is a fake and I hate it. It is useless. You can only use... Oh well, I may, I may be completely missing the point, but I can only use it as like a cash bow, cash bow and it's not even good for that particularly. Uh, and I've got four of them because they come in a pack of four. But it's the same issue. They've got a hole in the bottom, but it's raised off the, like it's raised off the bottom. It's not flush. So even if you try and flush water through, there's always going to be water collecting around the bottom. Just make a hole in the bottom so it's in the bottom or in the side so you can tip it. But you can't it's right in the middle you can't get the water below this line out and if there was an inner pot you could lift the inner pot out and tip it out but you can't there's only this so you have to take the whole thing out is it just me or is that like i hate it it's gonna be just me isn't it everybody else is like you're doing it wrong you idiot anyway where were we anyway where were we right i've got this i need this Th this thing is also why those pots really fall apart because they don't have one of these. This is basically just a way to get water into the bottom of the pot without having to soak the substrate. Those cheap Amazon knockoffs don't have them so you have to water through the substrate. Fine if it's lacquer but if it's soil there's no way to fill up the reservoir without overwatering the plant. You can't do it. Useless. So we clip this Oh, it doesn't clip. We place that in there. Oh, it sort of stays. And then we pop it in here. What's three? How weird are these? Like, uh, uh, uh. it would be fine if it was flat, but because it's folded, it looks weird. But it goes two, three, four, five, six. So if they're going to do it like that, six needs to be on that page. These are small grievances. And you could be like, yeah, but Caroline, they're numbered. Just go to the next number. Wherever it is, they could be in the wrong order. Just follow them numerically. No. Uh, where, where, where are we? Four. Uh, put this in. Put this. Oh, my God. In there. So that just goes in that hole. And then we have the lid somewhere. There. Uh, 
this just that right so this bit here this is just the cover it just sits on it it doesn't click or anything it just sits so when you go to water you can just pick it up tip it to one side and then just pour water in there and then that's it is that it yeah this is our Le Chouza part all assembled what's that for weird so normally I saw my other one isn't like this right so the water reservoir goes in the bottom and there's this little bit here that has holes in it and the lecker or soil will sit in here or well actually it'll be pond um pond or lecker will sit in here and that will absorb water and there'll also be like a layer on top and this lecker or, or pond will absorb water and then it will further be absorbed into the soil above if you're using soil but because there's this barrier of lecker or pond it doesn't stop the water going into the soil but it really really slows it down which is why self-watering pots work and why they don't just make your plants overwatered. it's having that barrier that stops you from basically just bottom washing your plants constantly. But normally these legs, uh, they don't have this. It's normally these legs that have the holes in it. So it's like even, <laughs> you know, the water will be absorbed evenly across the bottom. Surely just having this one will just, you know, be much wetter at that end. I've never seen this before. I'm sure my other, um, the shoes apart doesn't have this. I'm sure it's just in the legs. I'm not ordering another one to check. Um, and I'm not taking it out because it's smog and it's a massive pot. That is the ben one of the benefits of the shoes is they do do really big self-watering pots. Whereas, so I've got, can you see that point, point, point? Oh my God, it's not working. This one here that I'm pointing at. So this is just one of the really simple, um, <laughs> I can't really work mirrors one of the really simple self-watering pots that uses like a string you don't get them much bigger than that and I get why it's because the the string thing the wicking action isn't really that strong but you could just move the string further up into the soil um but yeah they don't grow very big they don't grow very big they don't make them particularly big whereas the Lachusa do do great big pots and they do quite a lot of like outside pots which are huge but very expensive as opposed to those which were like a tenner for six so anyway yeah, so once this was together, like that. No, that goes in first. You just put your your layer of pond, which is which they very kindly provide you with. I've actually bought some more pond, uh, just because I wanted to see how people. A lot of people grow in just pond, like you can grow in just leka and a lot of people swear by it especially for plants with finer roots or plants that you have trouble keeping upright because the particles are particles granules because the bits are smaller it's more stable because there's more like not weight but it's just more secure physically um but since i discovered there was fertilizer in pollen i was like oh god yeah get on that but it is much more expensive than lecker uh, so yeah, you put your layer of lecker or pond on the bottom and that will just stop the water from just getting sucked straight into the soil. It just slows the process down a lot. Put your plant in as normal and fill that up. Yeah, I'm just going to show you my other self-watering pot uh, that I much prefer that I can't get hold of and I'll just show you what I mean. Right, here it is. Now this is clearly, where's the name here? It's Le Jour or something. Clearly a Le Jour is a knockoff. And I'm not a fan of knockoffs. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like it when brands copy other brands, obviously. But this is a, su a superior product because look, so we've got the little shoot thing so we can water, you can use this for soil or lacquer. You can pour the water into this little grid here. And yeah, it's not as flashy as this little snappy thing but it does the job we've got this little guide guide thing which i think is actually sturdier do you know these are nylon identical i think i prefer this one 
But the whole thing lifts out. Look, look at those roots. Look at them. You see what I mean? The legs have got the little holes in. These holes are full of lacquer and that's how the water gets wicked up. But it means when it comes, th th these are just, I bloody love anthurium roots. Bloody love them. They're amazing. There is absolutely no way I can get this plant out of the pot though. <laughs> absolutely no way. Are you gonna grow any more leaves or are you done for the winter? I think you're done, aren't you? I just think this is so much better because I can flush it. And my only other minor gripe about the shoes of pots. Yeah, she's had thrips. What of it? That leaf's actually the good one. Look at that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh, there's a baby one there. I'm treating it, I'm on it. This is not, it's not matte, it's like a semi matte, like a, like a satin finish. And they are a pain to clean. Uh, right, I've not tried that hard. So if the shoes come back at me and say, just clean it with a bit of bleach, it'll be fine. They may be well, that may be true. But these ones, that you can wipe them clean. Now I haven't, I'm going to, I'm doing my cleaning today, so I'll, I'll wipe it clean then. But these are just wiped clean. And that's important to me, just because plants by their very nature tend to be quite grubby and uh, ease of cleaning is just a positive thing. So I would love to leave you a link to this plant, this pot, I really like it. Can't find one, you can buy them on Alibaba, but one, you can only buy them in groups of 50. This by itself wouldn't be an issue for me. I would happily have 50 of these. I've, they're like a really nice size, but you also, so yeah, you can't buy one, you have to buy 50, which is a pain, but doable. Uh, but the other thing is you have to ring them to arrange it. I'm not, not calling anybody, so I just can't have them anymore. What I am doing is I'm in the process of sitting on Amazon and buying as many of these that I think are similar as I can and finding good ones. I would provide you with a link for AliExpress if I find them, but the problem with AliExpress is the listings change so often and they completely disappear that the links will be outdated within a week and it's just not worth doing. Should we look at the roots again? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I've broken it. Come on. There we go. That was never going to work, was it? So yeah, that is my assemblage of a Le Chouse of Hot and then saying how crap it is compared to this one. Uh, I do appreciate that they've put this in, uh, and but as I said, without the... Unless the um, hole is flush with the bottom, it doesn't work. I don't want like stagnant water trapped in the bottom that I can't get out, and I can't get out because there's no fucking inner pot. So, yes. Why can't they just put a plug in the bottom? Or in the side? Like, the side would be better. I'm assuming there's a reason, but I'd rather it didn't have a plug at all. I mean, the, obviously it doesn't affect me <laughs> now, particularly. Well, it will, because there'll be water traps in the bottom. I feel like I'm missing something. Like it just seems like a such a pointless adi addition. I get if it was outside, it could get rained on, I suppose, and you would want the excess water overflowing. Leave me a comment if you know what the point of having the plug thing raised up. I I, I get that it makes it more, you know, from an engineering point of view, it makes it more sturdy having a, a plug flush to the floor to the floor to the bottom would it be difficult to get it to stay in but why bother having one at all i don't mm. if it was outside why would you have soft watering pots outside anyway uh, it's, it's obviously for people that have a different climate to here <laughs> we don't have to worry about rain so much here now so anyway anyway th this is this is just a better model 
I prefer it. It's amazing, but can't get it. Life could just not, it can't just be easy, can it? I hope you enjoyed this somewhat chaotic video. If you want to read the exact same rant I've had here, I will leave the articles below. I do have other self-watering pots. I think I'm going to do like a whole video on them though. Um, there's a couple that I like. There's one that I fucking hate, which is that one. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.